Hello, and welcome to another edition of Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Henkel with Cheeky Scientist, and this week's question comes from Steve Orwa. Um, he's on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Steve Underscore Orwa, R-O-I. Um, the question is, what's the advantages of having a postdoc or not for a job in industry? Uh, and how about doing a postdoc in industry? Uh, so, so two different questions that are hand in hand, and they're questions that we get a lot. Uh, so, so we like to answer them in as many different ways as possible. Uh, the first one is whether or not doing a postdoc in academia, if there's any value of that in industry. Now, when, whenever I get this question, I always, I always say, if you want to go into industry, there's no reason to, to, do, to do a postdoc. And that's true. There's no reason to do a postdoc if you want to go into industry. And I get, I get in a lot of trouble whenever I say that. Um, so, so I want to further explain that if you are doing a postdoc, if you've already done one, you can leverage that to your advantage. And you can even leverage that over people who haven't uh, d- done a postdoc position. Um, but at the end of the day, if your goal is to get into industry, and you know this you know, as a PhD student, for example, uh, your goal should be to t- first try to transition into an industry position. At the very least, try to transition into you know, a, a contract position uh, in industry. Uh, you could do an internship, a variety of things where you'll probably get paid more or at least as much as, as a postdoc uh, in academia, but you'll have some industry experience. Right? So if that is the goal to get into the industry, you should do that as soon as possible. Um, and there's no, really no reason to stay in academia any longer because academia is not going to train you for industry. And we've written many articles on this, so if you haven't uh, seen our articles on this, uh, make sure you go to cheekyscientist.com backslash blog. Um, we've had people who have done postdocs write whether or not it, there was any value, and, and really there's not because you'll transition into these positions in industry, and you'll notice that uh, some of the people you'll be working with, even in R&D, right, at the bench, uh, they won't have PhDs. They'll have master's degrees or bachelor's degrees. Um, so again, your academic experience, your academic postdoc is not going to train you uh, in the industry skills that you need. The company that you get into, they're going to want to train you in your own skills. Uh, you're going to get that on-the-job training, which is much more valuable. Um, so again, getting into industry as soon as possible, if that's your goal, that's what you should be thinking. And it's only if you've exhausted everything in terms of getting into an industry job that you might consider a postdoc. Now, the second part of that question is whether or not doing an industrial postdoc, postdoc is, of, is of any value. And again, this matters. Uh, the question comes down to what your goal is. If your goal is to get into an industry position, um, then doing an industrial postdoc, uh, there's not a lot of value there. right? Most companies, after you do an industrial postdoc, they're not going to keep you. They'll allow you to do an industrial postdoc with them, but then they're probably not going to keep you. You'll probably have to go to a different company anyway. Uh, so, why, so why do this? Again, if there's a more academic styled company, right? There are some of these uh, that are a little bit different than most companies, whether it be a, a Genetech or whatever else. Uh, they might value postdoc experience a little bit more. Uh, they might uh, require an industrial postdoc or some kind of postdoc, but most do not. And you can get into these positions in R&D, even bench positions, of course, non-bench positions without a postdoc. You don't need it. Um, there's almost no reason I can think of or, or anybody on our team has ever been able to think of or anything you know, that we've ever seen in the real world where doing an industrial postdoc was a smart move uh, rather than just getting into an entry-level research scientist position. Uh, so overall, make sure you know what you want first. If you want to go into industry, if you want a research scientist position, if you want a full-time position, go after that right after getting your PhD. There's no reason not to. Uh, if you have done a few years of a postdoc, that's fine. You can still leverage that to your advantage. Uh, you can still use that to, to get hired over other job candidates. Um, but just choose carefully and make sure you're not just wasting your time or taking the easy road out. Make sure you've actually applied, gone in interviews, and exhausted all of your other options if your goal is, is to get into industry. Uh, so until next time, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.